So today's the last day of Jace Week, and um, it's been a really fun week. I've had a lot of fun learning about new cards and how exactly certain cards work, and Soul Artifact is not plus five plus five like I originally thought it is, which makes me a little sad, but it makes more sense than what I was thinking. <laughs> so it's been a lot of, it's been a really good week, Jace. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to turn to the blue side quite yet, but I appreciate you guys a lot more, you control players. I still don't like playing against you, though. At all. I'm talking about you. You know who I'm talking about. Blue-white control players. Anyway, so I thought I'd take a look back at some of the previous Jaces and just to see what's changed, what's the same, and what they do, because they're it's pretty fun to do. So, first off, we have Jace Blurring. Um, he is three mana, one colorless, and two blue for a three loyalty planeswalker. And he has the plus two ability where each player gets to draw a card. So, uh, that's not as good as some of the other plus abilities he had, but you know, everyone drawing a card isn't half bad and it adds plus two to it, so I, I can argue that it's pretty decent. Um, his minus one ability, though, is target player gets to draw a card. So, I mean, you have to minus him, but you get to draw a card. And who doesn't like drawing cards for, let's see, three cards for three mana? Yeah, you're not going to complain with that. His minus ten ability, though, is pretty sweet. Um, target player gets to put the top 20 cards of their library into their graveyard. So, yeah, you want to... This is really good in a mill deck if you can get them all the way up to 10 because that's just rude. 20 cards is a third of your opponent's deck. That That's a lot. And by the time you get them up to 10, they're not going to have 30 cards or 20 cards left. But yeah, because that it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to hurt them to be, have to pull that out because 20 cards is a lot. So you start off with, what, 7, and by the time you get to 3... And let's say you've got to have one, two, three, four, five, six ish. Yeah, let's say six. That can't be right. Six turns. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that should work. Possibly. Turn three, three, six. Anyway, all right, so yeah, that should work. Okay. So six turns they've drawn at least 13 cards, more than likely. And so that's going to be about half of what's remaining in their deck. It's going to be awful. It's going to really, really hurt them. That is for sure. So the, he's pretty cool. And I think he was a great starting point for them. And they just improved as they went. Uh, the second card um, is Jace, Architect of Thought. It is four mana, two colorless, and a blue. And he has four starting loyalty. His plus one ability um, is until next turn. All creatures your opponent controls gets minus one, minus O oh, um, until end of turn. So that's pretty, that's pretty. So it's until your next turn they all get minus one, minus O, oh, so it basically nullifies all those Elspeth tokens that they're creating and stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's pretty awesome. His minus two ability is amazing. You play Jace, Architect of Thought, for the minus two ability. Seriously. You get to reveal the top three cards of your library. Your opponent separates them into, um, up to, into two piles, and... You get to put one pile into your hand, the other pile into the bottom of your deck in any order you want, which is awesome that they're not going into the graveyard or anything like that. It's, oh, seriously, this minus two ability is so amazing for control players. They can pick exactly what they want, and they're pulling extra cards, and usually they're pulling the lands they need to, you need to play. It's sweet. So his minus eight ability is each player, you get to search the, um, that player's library for a non-land card and exile it um, then that player shuffles their library and you can cast that card without paying the mana cost so basically you're taking your opponent's win condition and playing it that's definitely Jace he's so mean so that's Jace Architect of Thought um, we also have Jace Memory Adept. It's one of the more expensive Jaces. Five mana, three colorless, two blue. Um, and he has four loyalty. Um, but his plus one, you get to draw a card. And then target player puts the top card of his library into his graveyard. 
So yeah, you're drawing a card, your opponent's basically milling themselves, and you're putting plus one loyalty counter on Jace. It's pretty sweet. The zero ability is um, you, the target player gets to put the top ten cards of their library into his graveyard. Oh, that's just awful. That's so mean, and it's a zero. I mean, you can either mill one or mill ten for zero. If you have enough things to protect Jace, oh, that's so rude. Because 10 is what? 1 6, and by that point, it's like a fifth of what's left of your opponent's library. It's not going to take very many of those to get rid of their entire deck. It's awful. Alright, and um, his minus 7 ability is any number of target players each draw 20 cards. Granted, you're giving them a full hand, but they're going to have to discard, and at that point, you're probably milled them for everything they had. So that is pretty awesome. Alright, and our final Jace, besides the new Jace the Living Guild pack, which we talked about at the beginning of this week, is Jace the Mind Sculptor. It's four mana, two colors, two blue, for a three loyalty planeswalker. He has a plus two ability, um, where you get to look at the top card of a uh, target player's library, and you can either put that card on the and you can put that card on the bottom of the library. So you can either keep it on top, put it on the bottom. It's really nice to, you know, look at your opponent's next card and see what they're playing. If you they want that card, then you should just, you know, push that to the bottom. If not, hey, leave it there. They, they can draw that unnecessary land that they don't want right now. Yeah, he's pretty evil that way. Um, his zero ability, you get to draw three cards, and then you get to put two back from your hand into the top of your library in any order. So basically, it's like, uh, I believe it's a brainstorm, where you draw two cards and then put, or draw three cards and then put two back. So you can hide things that you need if you know they have a removal spell from a discard spell from your hand or something. You can definitely use that and just uh, be mean and set up your draws the next couple times. It's sweet. Alright, and he also has a minus one ability where you get to return target creature to its owner's hand who doesn't love that in a control deck. Seriously, making your opponent double cast and set them back a couple turns is amazing. And oh, his minus 12 ability is exile all cards from target player's library. Then that player um, has to shuffle their hand into their library. So if they don't have a hand, oh, guess what? They're dead. Yay! And even if they do have a hand, now they're pulling on the top of the deck and they have a library that's, what, less than seven at that point? Yeah, it's rude, it's rude, it's rude. And that's what Jace is all about, being rude to the opponent. Because who doesn't like playing like that? I don't, but you know what? I'm, I'm learning to like it a little bit, just a little bit. I'm not going to change my ways anytime soon and stop playing my aggro decks, but... Control can be fun, especially when you're the one playing it and making your opponent's life miserable and not having it played against you for real, so yes. But anyway, so I think it's been a great Jace week. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Which Jace is your favorite? Um, I'm going to have to say probably either the Mind Sculptor or the Memory Adept. One of those two guys, because... I like milling my opponent for all their resources and making them throw it in the graveyard and who doesn't like looking at the top of your opponent's deck for reals. So let me know which one, J which Jace is your favorite in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe for more.